All right, let's have a test hall sensors on a one wheel XR motor. Um, uh, this is a VESC box with a little Fokker controller. I have the hall sensors plugged in to the circuit board. Power on because you need five volts come into this little circuit board that monitor these three sensors, the hall sensors. And hall sensors change state depending on electric or magnetic fields that pass by them. So as the magnets in the hub go by the stator, these little sensors turn on and off theoretically as the motor turns. So if it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, you're going forwards, and three, two, one, three, two, one, you're going backwards. The middle post is ground. This um, right post is the five volt signal. And then the left post is what changes with the magnets. So it'll be the read zero volts or what I'm getting is like 3.9 volts. So I tested continuity on all the circuits in there and the black wire coming in the back, a little hard to see, is um, ground. So I'm going to be testing that against the uh, signal wires. Okay, so the hall sensor test is done with magnets, and uh, these are what I used, just some little magnets from uh, Ace Hardware. So what you want to do is have these stacked up. You need magnets that have a north and a south pole, because that's what's going to um, force the hall sensor to one position or the other. So I don't really know which is north and south on these, but I put a dot on one side, so I got the dot side and the no dot side just so I can keep it straight. And um, when one polarity touches the hall sensor, it will switch to you know the voltage position. And then when you use the other side of the polarity, it'll switch the hall sensor to the no voltage or off position. So you can test and activate the hall sensor back and forth however many times um, as checked with a multimeter and you're gonna have your multimeter set on DC voltage um, there's a 5 volt signal and it's DC so however meter reads just set it for um, you know so it'll read 5 DC volts okay so I checked the state of hall sensor number this one on the meter, see it's 3.9 volts. If I touch a magnet to the sensor, depending on which way the magnet is, now it's zero volts. So I put a dot on it so I can tell which one's which. I touch it to the dot. it is back to 3.9 volts so that one seems to be working the middle sensor is in an off state so I touch it to the magnet you don't actually have to touch it just have it close 3.9 volts flip the magnet over 0 volts so this hall sensor seems to be working. The third sensor is currently off. Touch the magnet. Still off. Oh, there it goes. 3.9 volts. 
Shakes it again. Zero volts. So all my hall sensors seem to be working. 3.9 volt. That's the five volt test. And that would be the same on every right hand post. Five volts, five volts. So hall sensors are working. It's still a mystery why um, I can't do the motor configuration. Maybe it's some wires in the harness. But that's how you test your hall sensors.